Hello, today we're going to learn how to add and edit images into a gallery inside of ShowIt. So you may have some galleries set up on your ShowIt website or you may be wanting to add this feature. So what it is, is it allows for you to add multiple images in one area on your ShowIt site. And there are actually different types of galleries. So I'm gonna kinda of just briefly go over the gallery options and settings with you. But first, let me show you how to add or edit any images in a gallery. So this here is actually um, a gallery. So you can see that when I preview um, the home page, it actually scrolls through a few different photos. So that is um, just a standard gallery that I have set up on this template. So in order to change those images out, all you need to do is just click on the gallery and you can come up here to gallery images and you can see that I already have three photos in this gallery. So you can click this little button, Manage Images, and this will allow you to add any additional images into the gallery, um, as well as reorganize or, or drag and drop them to change the order. And you can also remove any that maybe just don't fit or you just aren't crazy about them inside of the gallery. So maybe I'll go ahead and remove this one. So you can just select that image and hit the little trash can icon. And then to reorder these, all you need to do is just click and drag them. So you can reorder them, um, add as many as you like. I don't recommend going overboard because we really don't want to slow down the load. Um, time of your website or the site speed. So definitely keep these um, to a minimal in these galleries and make sure that your images are always compressed for web. So now that I've got these images in the order I want and um, all of the correct images are displayed, all I have to do is click save. So now when we preview this, we'll see those new images in the new order for that gallery. Yep, so that's all you need to do. Now, if you are wanting to maybe create a new gallery, let me go ahead and show you some different options for that. I'm just gonna create a blank canvas for this um, example at the bottom of the page here. And then I'm just going to click here to add a new gallery. And then I'm gonna go and choose those gallery images the same as we did before. So I'm just gonna grab some images here, nothing specific, just a little chunk of images. Okay, and then this is, um, so this is the gallery. You can also drag and drop them here in this little side panel if you'd like to reorder them. Um, so this is just your basic gallery that you can add and then of course drag um, and drop to kind of adjust the size of that gallery. But if you click on gallery settings, you can see that there's a drop down for the type of galleries. So this simple gallery is just what it is. It's a simple gallery that'll slide through um, different images. You can also select a tiled gallery which if you do that, you'll need to, of course, you know, drag this down as far as your images, as many images as you have, so nothing gets cut off. You can also adjust the cut number of columns, the padding in between those images. Um, you can add a border to the gallery and um, there's a lot of different settings here. So as you can see, that kind of added a little border to those images and that works great if you have a gallery on a white background and some of your images have that white background. So there's a lot of different ways you can adjust these galleries. Um, another gallery is that sliding gallery and that is just basically allows you to click and drag or it can automatically slide through. So if you'd like the images to automatically slide through this gallery, what you would do is select the auto advance, I would say maybe three seconds, and then make sure you loop images so that way when it gets to the end of that gallery, it will start at the beginning and not just stop. Um, you can also add some little image dots underneath and customize them to your brand colors. Um, you can customize the size, the space between them, all those good things. Um, and then you can also 
customize those unselected images. So maybe you really want the focus to be on this main image in the center. So you kind of like to um, blur the ones on the side or make those a little less noticeable. So to do that, you can just click customize. Um, you can blur those images. You can also um, maybe reduce the opacity. And you can see there's a lot of ways to really customize these galleries and make them work for you. So let's just take a little um, peek at what the preview would look like for that gallery. So I'm just going to scroll to the bottom of the page and you can see that it's going to auto advance every three seconds and you can also use your mouse on this gallery to click and drag. So maybe you want to go back. Um, another option is you can add navigational arrows for any of the galleries and that will allow users to click and uh, move through a gallery. So how do you do that? Let me give you a quick little tutorial on that. So you'll just create an icon. You will um, change it to an arrow. So it's pretty obvious that they can go ahead and click on that. And then for the click action, you'll want to um, select gallery. And this is actually my second gallery on this page because remember we have one at the top of the page. So you just select gallery two and then the action would be next. So anytime someone clicks on this, it will um, automatically move to that next image. Now, of course, we'll want to have one to select preview, to go to previous um, images. So you'll just duplicate it, select previous, and then under size and position, you'll want to rotate it to 180. And then make sure everything is centered up aligned correctly. Okay, and we will just go ahead and preview that now. So if we scroll to the bottom to that sample gallery, we can now, actually no, we can't. Okay, let me take a look and see why that may be. So this is, okay, so this is actually gallery one. So let me go back and change that click action to gallery one. Okay, perfect, now it should work. And let's take a look. Yes, and now it's working perfectly. So if for some reason you link those up and those arrows aren't working, just double check the name of that gallery specifically and that should fix the issue for you. So I hope this was fun and helpful and that you're uh, a little more comfortable now with working with those image galleries. They can really bring a lot of life to your website design and really inject some personality into your show at website. So yeah, let me know if you have any questions and I'll be here again soon for another tutorial. Bye.